welcome to another video. Today we have a brand new 3080 Ti, which we're gonna be unboxing, installing into this machine right here and replacing it with the 3070 that we have in there. And we're gonna be runching a few benchmarks near the end of the video. Let's get straight into the unboxing of this brand new Palette 3080 Ti. So we have here one of the pallet versions of the 3080 Ti. On the back of the box, we've got a few messages in a few different languages. Some of the key features are explained just on the left here. Um, there's a few news channels that they have some pretty cool um, QR codes that you can scan right there if you wanna go and look at the news channels. I don't know if you can actually do that through a video, but you can always try giving it a go. But without wasting too much time, let's actually get inside the box and see what the card looks like. I'm just gonna undo the sellotape tab that is currently holding the box shut. There we go. Let's get this open. So there we go. So we've got a nice black box here. Um, just telling us that it's got HDMI and it's HTCP compliant. Um, nothing on the sides of the boxes at all, nothing on the bottom and nothing nothing on the back there. So let's have a look inside. So the first thing we see as we get into the box is the graphics card user manual. And underneath that palette sends out a really nice calendar, which changes color as you alter it with the light. Um, and you have that on the back and the front in two different forms. So the white side starts from 1st January, goes to 6th June, and then the black side goes from July to December. So that's a nice, really cool um, little thing that Palette have included in there with their graphics cards. In terms of the accessories that we get in the box, we get one of these generic adapt cables for providing power to the graphics card. And we also get, just at the back here, one of them really fancy side glass panels um, that give you a bit more extra fancy looks when you have the graphics card mounted inside of the PC. So moving on to the graphics card now, let's pull this bad boy out and take a look at it. So there we go. There's our Palette 3080 Ti. Let's just put it down and let's just move these things out of the way here so we get to completely appreciate the card. And one thing Palette definitely do is impress on the looks and the design of these graphics cards that they make. Really cool metallic design. A lot of the other cards, they just come with plastic surrounds. It does make them lighter, however, when you're given a, a nice heavy card, it does feel really nice to hold in the hands. Um, on the back here, we have some information. It tells us just down here that it's a 3080 Ti right there. Um, but apart from that, it's a very nice looking card. Um, and I can't wait to get this installed into our machine and do some benchmarks. So what we'll actually do next with this then is we'll get the PC laid down on its side. We will take out the 3070 that we currently have in there and we'll get this 3080 Ti installed and do some benchmarks on that. All right, so we're gonna uninstall the 3070 and we're gonna be installing the 3080 Ti, which is just over here. Uh, so to start, we're just going to remove the PCIe cables from the graphics card. And then we're just gonna grab a screwdriver and we're gonna loosen these. So these are generally thumb screws, so you can then get these out uh, with your thumb after you've loosened them. Okay. 
So that's both of those out. Um, then the next thing we need to do is, I'll just point it out to you, there's a little latch down here. You kind of need to get your finger in there. Um, it's best to do it with your finger rather than, than a tool. I was just using that to point it out for you. Um, and then just get your thumb on there, or, or your index finger, uh, push down the latch. You'll notice uh, when it pushes down, the card will slightly lift up. Um, and then right after that's slightly lifted, uh, it just takes a little bit of a wiggle from the card, and then it comes out just like that. Before we go ahead and actually put the 3080 Ti in the machine, what we need to do, because um, the 3080 Ti has a higher TDP, meaning it takes on more power from, uh, from the computer. Now, what we're going to need to add in is another separate PCIe cable, because um, these only supply up to 150 watts of power. We get 75 watts from the PCIe slot as well, but that's still not enough for 3080 Ti. Um, so we're just gonna install another PCI cable quick, and then we'll get onto the installation of the 3080 Ti. All right, so we've got two PCI cards at the front of the PC now. Um, let's get the computer back on its side and we will install the brand new 3080 Ti. All right, so we're just gonna take the new card here and we're just gonna line it up with the PCIe slot down there. As soon as it falls into place, give it a push until it clicks in. And then we're gonna install the screws next on the card. It's easier to start these off with your thumbs and then just screw it in the rest of the way with a screwdriver. All right, so we're gonna grab our PCIe cables and we're going to install them. So we're gonna put this one in a slot further away over here. There we go. And we're gonna put this one in the closer slot. There we go. So that's all connected up. Um, I'll tidy these up in a minute. And let's head over to do some benchmarking. All right, so we're gonna run some benchmarks now. We're just gonna use Unigen Heaven. We're going to run the settings quite basic. Um, so the resolution, uh, I'm gonna leave on 1920 by 1080 because I'm using a 1080p monitor here. Uh, the anti-aliasing I'll put on eight. Uh, I'll use I'll leave multi-monitor disabled, stereo disabled, tessellation disabled. Um, the quality though I'll leave on ultra, and the API I'll leave on DirectX 11. So uh, we're going to run the benchmark like this, and as soon as that finishes, we will have a look at the results. So here's the final score. We've got an FPS of 289.7, a score of 7,297, uh, minimum of 58.9, maximum of 474.8. Uh, but that should give you guys an idea of what kind of performance you're gonna be looking at with a 3080 Ti. All right, so that's gonna be everything for installing the 3080 Ti today. Um, if that has helped you get your graphics card installed, then excellent. A few pointers uh, I'm going to give you are worth keeping note of. When installing a card such as a 3080 Ti or a 3090 or a 3070, you're going to want to have at least uh, a recommended power supply is 750 watt 
just to make sure that you're not suffocating the PC from power at all. That way you shouldn't run into any problems. Um, another recommendation is make sure when you do buy your power supply is get one that has enough PCIe port. Some of the 600 watt, 500 watt power supplies won't have enough PCIe power cables uh, to allow you to, to run a 3080 Ti or 3070, 3090, sometimes even a 3060. You also want to make sure if you already have a case and you're upgrading, these are, these are pretty big cards. They do provide a spec on, on the website when you buy one of these cards, how, how long are they? Because uh, you can get a lot of small ITX cases that really leave you with not a lot of space to play with. And if you have drive bays in here, that makes it even harder. So this case doesn't have any drive bays, um, but that's they've actually been removed. This is already a big case, and we've removed the drive bays so that we can actually get a card of this size into this into this case. So if you have a smaller machine than this, then it just goes to show how it can be quite tough to get a large card into the machine. Again, if you ran some benchmarks, make sure to leave some of the results in the comments below. And we'd really like to see what those results are. Because um, different cars, different manufacturers will vary. We'll probably run some benchmarks on some Gigabyte cards as well, some Zotac cards, MSI cards. If you're actually looking to get your hands on a 3080 Ti, we have plenty coming into stock at the moment here at Punch Technology. So if you want to build a custom PC or are planning to build a custom PC, make sure to follow the link below uh, and you'll see that we have 3080 Ti's available to customize your PC with. So with that all said and done, hopefully this video has helped you today. Uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more content and we'll see you in the next video.